Okay, so let's take a look at how to do this question here where we're asked to find angle one. And um, what we have is a triangle that is um, inscribed inside a, um, an octagon in this case or some other polygon. Okay, so the first thing we should do is we need to sort of think about wh what are some things that we know that we can calculate here. So when we're looking at an octagon, um, there's a couple of angles, there's a couple of formulas that we can use here. So we need to know what the inside angle of an octagon is. Okay, so the inside angle um, is, I'll mark it here on one side of the objects here, it's the angle that is made when the two of the sides meet, but we're looking at the inside portion of it as opposed to the outside. So we know there's a formula for this, which is n minus 2 times 180 divided by n, where n is equal to the number of sides in the polygon here. So n in this case is equal to 8 because it's an octagon. So this is going to give us 8 minus 2 times 180 all over 8. Okay, and so if we work that out on a calculator, we find that we would have 135 degrees as the measure of the inside angle. Okay, so now if we take a look at what we've got here, I'll just zoom in a little bit. We've actually got a shape where, let's change the color here to red, where we have this angle here, which we don't know. Um, we're trying to figure out angle one, and then we have this other angle here, whoops, on the other side. Just cancel here. Uh, okay, right here, which is a different measure. So what we know is that if we added those two angles plus angle one, that should equal um, 135 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to call this missing angle here X, and I'll call this one here Y. So let's take a look at um, what we can do here. So we'll just zoom back out here. So what we would, could say is that, well, if we took angle X plus the measure of angle 1 plus angle Y, okay, that should equal 135 degrees. Okay, so we want to find what angle 1 is. So what we really need to do is figure out what are the what could be the measures of angle X and angle Y. All right. Um, so let's just um, rearrange this equation here. So angle one is equal to 135 degrees minus X minus Y. So we have to figure out what those two unknown angles are. So now that we have a bit of a, a formula in, in which to attack this. We just need to go figure out, well, how, how would we do that? So let me go back and zoom in on this problem again. Okay, change the color to a different one here. So the first thing we need to do is let's look at angle X. Now, what do we know about the shape of right there? Okay, so we know that little sliver here is a triangle. Um, so I'm just going to mark this. Okay, and we know that the sides of this triangle would have to be the same. Okay, because um, it's a regular octagon where all the sides are the same. Okay, and then similar, similarly here for angle Y, we know these sides would have to be the same because it's all part of an octagon. So what can we start to deduce here? Well, if we look at this triangle part here, we, this is a triangle where we have two equal sides. Okay, so two equal sides in a triangle is an isosceles triangle. So the first thing we could look at here is we have an isosceles triangle. Okay, and we know from an isosceles triangle that the base angles are equal. Okay, so that means that angle X and its other side, the other corresponding base angle would equal, um, also equal X. Okay, so that means, let me just go back to this one here, this angle here, Okay, I'm just going to put a little mark here. And this angle here are the same. They're both measure for angle X. Now, what about, so let me just go back and mark that in here again. What about the, the, this angle right here? I'll just do this in a different color in green. 
Okay, what do we know about this angle right here? Well, this angle here has to be an inside angle of, um, the, of the octagon. So we know this is gonna be 135 degrees. Okay, so we've got a couple of things that we can do here now. So we know that a triangle equals 180 degrees. And we know that if the two base, if it's an isosceles triangle, the two base angles are equal. So this means that the two angles, we can call them X. So we're gonna say um, X plus X plus the known angle of 135 degrees is equal to 180. So this gives us an equation where we're trying to figure out that, that little missing piece there for X is equal to 2X plus 135 is equal to 180. 2x is equal to, we subtract 135 from 180, that's going to give us uh, 45. So x is equal to 22 and a half degrees. So that's one of the missing angles there is 22 and a half degrees. So now we can go back and look at the other shape. So the other shape we have here is a trapezoid. Okay, and we know trapezoid is a quadrilateral. Okay, so in a quadrilateral, we know that the angles add up to 360 degrees because it's a four-sided shape. Now, what's interesting with this trapezoid here is, we zoom in again, is the base angle for Y is equal um, on both sides. Here, so I'll just go back and put that in red here. So if I mark it like this, the two angles here are equal because this is what's called an isosceles trapezoid where the three sides are the same um, and this line that cuts through here um, forms the fourth side. Okay, now we know the angle here is 135 degrees because that's an inside angle and so is this one. Okay, and we, we know that these two would be the same. So if we go back and look at what we can do for an equation here, um, we can say, well, we know there's y plus y, or the unknown angles, but we know they're both the same, plus 135 plus 135 is equal to 360. So in this case, we're going to have here 2y is equal to 360 minus 135 twice. So if we take our calculator and work that out, 360 minus... 360 minus 135 minus 135 is equal to 90, and therefore y is equal to 45. So that means that those angles there are 45 degrees. So then, right now, so this takes us back to an original question. We know to find angle one, we would take 135, subtract the value of x, and subtract the value of y. So that means angle one should be equal to the full interior angle minus 45 degrees minus 22 and a half degrees okay so if we work that out 135 minus 45 minus 22.5 we should find that that inscribed angle angle one is 67 and a half degrees okay so that'd be the way that i would approach this question where we're looking to see uh, what different shapes we have and then see if we can figure out some properties for that.